Dean, first week of pre-season, how's it all gone so far? Yeah, well, we've had a, it's our ninth session, so um, we're back, sort of, sort of second week now. Um, but yeah, we're really happy with the fitness levels of the players. Everybody's got through every session so far, which is very good, clean bill of health. We've done 90 minutes every day. Um, and obviously last night we had our first game, which I thought was a really good game, really enjoyable pre-season game. Uh, we're going to start off with the new signings this summer, starting with our first one, uh, Addy from Chelmsford. Uh, when did you sort of first look into him and what's he going to bring to the team? Well, Addy came to my attention, um, I think it was two and a half years ago, quite a long time. So we've monitored him all, all the way through that, that period. Um, and yeah, and then obviously we, we, we got Chelmsford in the FA Cup last year. And obviously within that research, we could see, we could see grown and developed really well there. So he was a player we monitored for a while. He had a little bit of a back injury and missed quite a chunk of the season for them. But when he come back into the team at the back end of the season, when he got over that, he made a big difference to their performance levels and their results really picked up. So we believe he's a player that wants to defend, reads danger really well, very quick, extremely strong boy. Um, technically can improve slightly. That's something he can definitely improve on. That's something that we'll work on him with. But all in all, we feel he's going to bring us a lot of power and pace to our team. And someone that you've brought in who has got quite a bit of National League experience, Sam Barrett from Maidenhead. Uh, he's come in for the wing. What do you expect from him this next season? He can play several positions. He won't just play on the wing for us. We want to get him around the goals as much as we can. He's a good finisher. Beautiful left foot. Um, very good in the air. Got great attitude. We know he's a, he leads by example. So a low maintenance player really, which is always good to manage. Um, so we wanted to chip in with some goals. I know last year um, he didn't score as many as probably he should, but he presses the ball really well. Um, and he's a good player, he's got a high IQ, so we're really happy he's joined us. And uh, Callum Stead, you brought in from Brackley, won all the young player, manager player, player of the season awards for them. How What will he bring to the team? He's infectious, Callum. He's a great kid. Um, I think he's got a real bright future in the game. I'm um, a big believer in him. He's a natural goal scorer, which is hard to come by these days. Um, he did play quite a lot in the wide areas for Brackley. But personally, I believe he'll play more down the middle for us. Um, he gets on the shoulder. I think you see last night the header hit the crossbar. Great cross from Brunt. He's on the shoulder, making good runs into sort of the real kill zones, which is what I call them around the six yard box. So he wants to score goals, and it's hard to get centre forwards to do that these days. Uh, they all want to seem to want to come to the ball. So I think he'd do really well for us, Callum. He works so hard, and his fitness levels have been amazing since he's come back. He's really impressed us. We think it might take him a little bit of time to get back used to full time football. Um, but I think he's got a big future ahead of him. You've also brought in Ben Coker, experience, a bit of cover as well, or give, give some competition for Sam Beard at that left back, left back spot. Yeah, I think what Ben will do is he'll help Sam as well, you know, improve his game. Uh, Sam's, Sam's still quite a young player, but with Cokes, we nearly signed Cokes last season, to be fair. Um, real leader, um, brilliant around the change rooms, um, knows his game inside out, um, and I think he'll help people like Idris, people like Brunty, uh, people like Courtney Senior, he'll help them become better players and we can get them further up the pitch. You just mentioned uh, Brunt, Brunt there, announced uh, yesterday. He comes in from Sheffield United, had a great year at Boreham Woods. Uh, is he going to bring that creativity to the front front line of the team? Yeah, and obviously we wanted to replace Ryan. I think uh, the biggest thing with Brunty is he needs to score more goals. Um, we want him. You know, he's got to try to get himself around 12 goals for us. That's sort of his target this year. He's got all the tools, Zach, to... Um, to go back up the levels as well and obviously we wanted to perform for us so we can go up the levels too so but yeah really brilliant IQ technically excellent great vision um, good finisher if, if we can get him around the goals more in around the around that box that penalty spot I think he, he can score goals so yeah we're delighted with the sign and delighted to decide to join us what's been great is the difference between this year and last year players have wanted to come to us they've wanted to join us and all for football and reasons so that's been huge for the players that we've signed already. So when we started to change that mentality and create that winning mentality, we, you know, it took a little bit of time, but we've got that together. And it's not just, just comes from, you know, just raw honesty. Us being honest with our supporters, our supporters getting behind us, the chairman supporting what, what we're looking to do. We've still got a very young group, um, but I like that. I like that. It's, it's infectious around the place. So the one thing you're going to get off our team and all our supporters know that is that our players give their all and that'll, that'll continue.
And just to touch on our last and latest sign-in, uh, Reese Hall Johnson uh, found game hard, game time hard to come by last season. Obviously, it's a very strong Wrexham team, but the year before played a crucial part in the 88 points, getting to the FA Trophy final. Gives again competition for Ben Winter. What will he bring to this side? Yeah, he can play several positions, Reese. He can play high wide in the right, he can play right wing back, he can play right back, he can play right centre back. So good flexibility within our group. Because we don't carry a massive squad, um, we like to sort of, you know, we need like players that can play several positions. Very athletic, very dynamic, got a knack for goal, could have scored a couple of goals last night as well. So all in all, I think it's a brilliant sign up for us. He's won the division. Um, he probably found himself a little bit unlucky last season, probably to not play more. I know he played in the Coventry game. Um, but I think he picked up an injury at the start of the season and that kept him out and obviously Wrexham have flown so and, and they were flying last year to get 111 points it's unbelievable so but he brings that you know experience as well so we're really happy with that sign and I think it's a, it's really good business you mentioned in your answer before about the togetherness and how I mean how great last year was and how well we did and I think that's shown this summer with now Ryan going to Peterborough uh, Tumbles obviously now gone to Burton as well it's shown how, how strong this group is and people above are taking notice as well yeah look for a young player like Ryan the one thing that will happen with Ryan for, for everything that's brilliant about Ryan I've said this before and I'll say this on camera it's a bit sad when it doesn't happen for Kean Flanagan but Ryan listened to everything I said and everything I told him to do as a staff time to do, he went and did it over and above. So, you know, when you look at someone like Kean, who obviously has gone a different way, you know, that's quite sad because Kean's got all the tools to do what Ryan's done. But sometimes you need a little bit of luck, different things are going on in your personal life, different things can happen, different mentalities. But from our point of view, with Ryan, it was the right time for him to move on. I think he's going to do fine at, at that level. I think he'll do he'll suit obviously Darren's team the way they play um, Ryan's got a really good high cue and his fitness levels are amazing that was his first full season in men's football where he's played from the start to the finish so it's impressive that's good for him with Tumble listen Tumble unbelievable for what a guy I still speak to him every day obviously the opportunity for him to jump up two leagues you know I think that was sort of his situation at that moment in time but with Tumble moving on we bring Connor you know what great opportunity is for Connor so Kind of someone I've worked at several clubs. Uh, really good, intelligent player. Uh, good coach. Um, he did a little bit of ball and wood as well to be far with Luke. So he's got that experience. He helped out last year with the warm ups and stuff like that. He helped. I let him take a couple of sessions as well. So it's a good pathway. It's so important to have a pathway to progress um, at all football clubs. So obviously from, from Ryan's point of view, he's progressed the year before at Efron, um, and now obviously coaching was once. Tom has moved on and we thank him for all his great work and uh, we do miss him but great opportunity for Connor now to step up and uh, from a coaching point of view there's a pathway for him as well Connor, Connor now getting promoted to assistant manager you also brought in Craig Holloway as a brand new goalkeeping coach I guess that's sort of to replace Mel from last year what will he bring to the coaching staff and his experience uh, look he's starting out really um, in his coaching so good, great opportunity for Craig um, in the short space of time I've walked with him, um, he seems very good. Laurie seems really happy with him, um, so that's that's very important. But it's a department that I don't really touch. I have to be honest with you. Um, you know, unless we're recruiting in that department, that's the only time I'll touch it. I sort of let let them guys get on with the job. But he's been, so far so good. He's yeah, he's done really well, Craig. So um, and he'll add to us. To be fair, you can see that he's quite a calm character and he's got a good football brain, which is important as well. And his pedigree is is strong. So we're delighted he's joined us and. Hopefully, he can help bring us some success. Obviously, lots of great people joining us uh, this summer, but almost almost as as important, Harry Pritchard and Laurie Walker both signing new deals, committing their future to the club. Yeah, brilliant. You know, so you know, if you look at from Harry, he was unbelievable last year, wasn't he? And it, he'll probably be the same again this year. He's he's so reliable, but it just shows you we're rewarding people for doing the business for us, for giving their, giving their all. We want to reward these lads with new contracts. They're showing commitment to us, so. I think the feel around their football club is really good and has been obviously for the last sort of 12, 13 months. So that's good, that's so important. It's hard to create that, you know, it's really tough to create. So we've got to hold on to that and make sure that's precious. We, you know, we've got to keep sticking together and uh, keep going to the line, as I say. And then when you go to Laurie, you look at Laurie, you know, he was outstanding for us as well last year. So we don't want to concede as many goals as we did last year. That's, that's important. That's something we've got to improve on. But I think our squad's a little bit stronger this time last year. Uh, sorry, this time this year than it was last year. So I'm happy with everything we've done. 
Uh, yeah, they've had great, great seasons. Uh, Pre-season now started. Norwich yesterday, championship side. Played really well against them. Got managed to get a draw. Uh, what did you think of the players and they seen them for the first time competitively since coming back for pre-season? Yeah, the main thing, as I say, is for the first four weeks, it's all about the, the players' individual fitness. So we walked extremely hard Monday. No, a really hard session Monday. We played Tuesday 45 minutes. I know Norwich have been back two weeks as well, but I thought some of the players stood up. I thought Danny Collins was outstanding, special mention for him against, you know, a player in Barnes, who's Premier League, realistically, a Premier League player. So lots of great performances, but we don't know how hard Norwich worked as well. Do you know what I mean? They could have on a double session they could have trained Tuesday morning so but from our point of view we're really happy with the lads fitness levels the rest of our pre-season schedules looking pretty strong got Premier League Palace uh, Milton Keynes and Cambridge both EFL sides playing lots of strong teams is that that can only be good for the players to challenge themselves against the top players in this country yeah well, obviously you know we the Premier League clubs are a different world, different breed, so with their physicality and their power and pace. But it just comes in line with our pre-season. We like to sort of play eight or nine games in pre-season. Um, ideally, I would have liked to have played a couple more teams from the league below, um, but we managed to get get on the, which was huge, was to get on the high main pitch. Um, that I know that hasn't happened for a couple of pre-seasons here, so that's good. And to be fair to the chairman, he's invested in the pitch, he's invested in the training pitches. That's huge as well. That helps, you know, because. Uh, the pitch last year was good, but this year is much, much better. Um, and the training pitches are much better as well. So that's good, all positive. Um, but on the game front, there is some good games. MK Dons will be a good game. They're league above us. Um, you know, we've got Oxford as well in a, in a game at their training ground. Um, Cambridge United will be a good game as well. So there's lots of games. Yeah, so we've got plenty of good games. We've got Hemel this weekend. be a tough game. Looking forward to going back there. And it's a very important game to me personally. Um, because it is the Spencer Memorial Cup, uh, Spencer McCall, uh, McCall Memorial Cup. Um, so yeah, it's a it's a, it's a, it's a player that played for me, and I still speak to his dad Gary and his brothers and that most weeks, if not every week. Um, so it's a, it's a big game for me that personally. Um, it's tragic what happened to Spencer. So you know we want to get as many people there as possible. Um, I know uh, Dave, Mr. Boggins. Uh, and put on some good food and that for everybody and entertain everybody and host everybody. So it's, I really want to get as many Bayern supporters there as we can. We'd really appreciate your support coming down to that game. Um, so, yeah, so we've got that coming. So, yeah, it, look, pre-season, it's a six-week pre-season and we're into the second week and we're happy with how it's gone so far. So, touch wood and please God, um, we don't pick up any injuries. It's so important that players have a clean bill of health through pre-season for them individually. And then obviously we're pre-season, but looking at the first league game of the season, recently relegated Hartlepool United. Obviously the fixture's only been announced today, but big test on the opening day. Yeah, there's a lot going on, isn't there? Yeah, of course it's a big test. They've come down, so there's no easy games in their division. I sort of sound like a broken record when I say that, there just isn't. Um, last year I think we played Halifax first game and we weren't even favourites to win that game no one knew what we were going to do what we did last year so but people expect a little bit more from this year you know we raised the bar so expectation levels have rose and we've got to be able to cope with that and manage that me as a manager and the coaching staff and the players all of us around we've got to be able to manage that so we're looking forward to a good game actually great to be at home first game that's exciting but our first few games are tough it's not easy so like we always do we'll take it one game at a time but we'll look at that in another four weeks time so um, but yeah, it's great the fixtures out. I know supporters absolutely love stuff like that. So, and we were excited too. So, all in all, it's uh, yeah, it's a great, it's a great, great to get a home game for a first game. Dean, thank you for your time. Cheers, thanks. Dad.